So I thought this might be interesting to check out. Sometimes when you're traveling, you run across something at a washing station or a farm that's interesting, curious, makes you wonder. And uh, we were at a station called Muganero, which is, is kind of remote in Rwanda near Nyungwe Forest. And they, um, their pulping machine had broken down. Um, they went three days where they were receiving coffee cherry, but they had nothing to do with it. So they just let it sit in sacks. And then eventually they pulped it. And this is what they got, um, which, you know, in a lot of ways, this is done intentionally in, as anaerobic coffee, uh, in a way, holding coffee in the cherry, but this was accidental. So I'm curious to see how it roasted. I asked them specifically, I know this coffee normally would just go to the local market or low grade coffee, but hey, this is exactly what anaerobic is in a lot of cases. So how is this gonna cut? So I've just got the sample in and I'm gonna roast it right now. And it's interesting to look at. I mean, what I'm noticing right away is a kind of obviously yellow brown um, with a slight grayish cast to it, um, which is not a good sign. That's kind of like what home processed coffee in Rwanda looks like, which is very inconsistently processed. And there's some variation here, but I'm wondering, is this going to taste like anaerobic or is it going to taste like something not so good? So let's roast this coffee. So I did what I said I was going to do. I roasted the coffee and now it's brown. And it does have a kind of strange appearance. Um, it's a little bit orange. There's a strange unevenness. It looks like a natural. Um, you know, you sort of see that because the center uh, stripe, the center silver skin in the coffee is sort of dark. And um, it's, it's a little strange. I, it has a kind of fermented, like fermented cacao, fermented cacao nib sort of flavor. So let's see how this tastes in the cup. Okay, so I've been scanning this table of different Rwandas, just doing a quick look. And I'm at the uh, fermented coffee, Muganero. So let's smell it. I already smelled the dry grounds and it was like, it's like dried fruit, but um, something earthy, something like uh, you go to a fresh fruit market and there's fruit that's like fallen into the, the grate, into the sewer <laughs> and you're smelling. So that, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, that, it has fruit and spice. It has like a little bit of like beeswax, but there's something definitely like dirty going on in there. Let me see if I can just give it a quick fake uh, taste. They used to call this uh, somebody with a crocodile tongue that could taste really hot coffee, but I do it in a certain way that you can do this. I don't know, it's pretty whiny. Um, wow, it's actually better than I thought it would be. Um, yeah, it's a little fermented. It goes towards uh, like vinegar, kind of like dried strawberry, strawberry vinaigrette. But uh, I'm gonna let it cool down. It's not as bad as I thought, you know, let's see. 